Savoy Brown, you know, do you want to come for an audition? No, not really. I was living in Weybridge at the time. Bloke phoned me out, Harry Simmons. You all know these names, obviously, Kim Simmons' brother. Do you want to... I've got a band, not we need a singer. He'd been and seen me with a band, you know, Jackie Linton and the HD band, where it's called. No, I can't be bothered. I had so many letdowns in my time. You know, like you do, you're going to do it, Jacko. You've got the voice and all that and... Uh, I thought, fuck it, in the end, you think, I can't be bothered, so I, put the I kept putting the phone down. I put it down about three times. Then I spoke to a mate of mine called Roger Wedder. I said, I've had a call from a bloke called Harry Simmons. I said, it's fucking fuck. I was on a building site out in I Wickham, doing the old uh, labouring, whatever. In fact, I was painting and decorating, because that's what I do. I'm a painting and decorator, really. Come, rock and roller. But I'm a painting and decorator, really. I can fucking, I can paint and decorate your place. That's, that's what I really do, in real, in reality. But fuck about with rock and roll, Elvis fan, whatever, whatever. And I said to him, he said, who is it? I said, a bloke called Harry Simmons. He said, don't you know who that is? I said, no. He said, he's a brother of a bloke called Kim Simmons, who's a guitarist for a band called Savoy Brown. I said, I've heard of them. He said, fucking hell. He said, they're massive in America, which they were. I said, you're joking. What's he want with me? He said, he wants a vocalist, obviously. He's a, He's seen you and, he think he, and you can carry a tune, which I can. I said, fucking hell, I, said, I hope he phones back. Which he did. About a week later, he said, Jack, he said, I've asked you time and time, do you just want to come for a run for a rehearsal? I said, I'll be there tomorrow. You know, I was there like a flash at Twickenham Rugby Grounds. I went along, sung a couple of Chuck Berries like everybody does. Even McCartney does that. He said to me, go anyway. I did. I said, yeah, I'll be there, Harry. I went, I passed the audition in brackets, so-called fucking audition for Savoy Brown, off I went and we, and we got on the plane and I was from a building site, and imagine me a building site, £40 a week and uh, we ended up in Denver, we, we got off the plane, I thought fucking everyone looked like Lee Marvin you know the coppers, they all had the thing with the straps hanging down, didn't do them up, you know, I thought fucking hell we were on with Deep Purple because I know him very well. Richie Blackmore's a great mate. And, and off we went then. So I had a year with them. And then it caught us. It, it all got a bit political, really. It all got a bit naughty. Harry got upset with Kim and that. And he, and he just phoned me up one day. Uh, and that was it, really. He phoned up. He said, it's over. Oh, fuck me. Biddle, the drummer who died now, unfortunately, with an overdose, you know, he, he used to like his thing, that's the way. But he died with his boots on. He died with his fucking boots on. And he always said that to me in America, I used to share a room with him, he said, when I die, Jack, he said, I'm going to die, but he had these cowboy boots on. And he fucking did. He died with them on. Ron Biddle, I think his name was. Dave. Dave Biddle. It's a wicked thing to say, really, but he died with them on. So he passed out. He never used to take them off at night. He never took them off because he thought he's going to fucking pass away one night in his sleep, which he did, and he still had them on.